Hey, welcome back. We've got a lovely evening approach in Glasgow with some really wacky light going on here. Um, I don't actually know what time it is, let's quickly check. So it's 4pm in the afternoon, um, so sunset in Scotland in wintertime pretty much. Um, coming through these orange hazes. We've had a few bits of turbulence on the way in and we're currently on vectors for, I think, ILS runway 23 at Glasgow. So a pretty standard approach really. Probably not going to have too many hiccups apart from the British weather. Quite a bit of turbulence on the way in. Please for so we're getting to get a final turn in a few minutes, I reckon. A few seconds, maybe. It's at 3,000 feet, Swiss 974. Obviously using Swiss because that's the plane colour. Also mountain countries. Flying from mountains to mountains, Scotland, Switzerland, Austria. <laughs> made a bit of a blooper in Frankfurt as well today, but I just wanted to see how Microsoft had made it because it's huge. Look at that sunset there. It's kind of trying to set through the haze. Goody goody. It's not going to be a scenic approach, but it's going to be a very atmospheric one. Two, left 260, Wilco, uh, Swiss 974. Okay. So we've got 11 miles to go, so I'm going to put in flaps 1 now, so we reduce to about 200 knots, 190. I'm going to do my standard thing of just flying the approach at 200 knots until the last minute and then dropping everything at once. Seems to be great fun. I mean, unless ATC are giving you some speed restrictions, there's no reason why you wouldn't. Oh, please catch it, please catch it, that was a very late. Sent 2000 feet, better or less, runway 23, we're established, so it's not as simple. I'm just going to wait for the glide path to come down rather than descending. And there's a light from the airport, look at that. Look at that, it's like landing into the Sahara storm, except this is Scotland and it's just evening haze. Wild, absolutely wild. Um, I've got the anti ices on, although I probably could turn them off, but it hasn't said it's not detected, so I imagine it is cold enough to cause icing. Well, I'm not sure if I can see any on the plane, usually you can see a little bit of kind of flex. Okay, 8 miles now, 2000 feet. Uh, I'd say it's time for flaps number 2. Still on runway 23, so it's 974. So we're clear to land as well. Could it go any smoother? Absolutely fantastic. Um, turn off, we don't need any of that. Seatbelt sensor on, anti ice is on. Hasn't said it's not detected, so I'm going to leave it on. Seven miles, let's put the gear down. Let's have a look at Glasgow. The, the landing gear light there. Well, that's a screenshot, isn't it? <laughs> and so let's see how many miles have we got. Five and a half. Let's put in full flaps. Checking speed brakes are armed. Auto brakes to low. Cabin has been advised. Yes, Glasgow. I think some of it anyway. Is that the Clyde? Yeah, that's the Clyde. I need to see out the window, so back 
into cockpit, what we're going to do, maybe, 1000, co-pilot, well that's not the, co that's the co-pilot view, blimey, there we go, do we like this view, how do we feel about this, I don't know, I'm used to sitting on the left hand side of vehicles as well, I'll go back, that's nice, now it will make sense again. Everything's the right way around. So I'll disengage that. Do my landing view there. That's just one flick of the hat switch. A bit of an adjustment down. Quickly to land. Nineteen knot headwind at the moment, so the plane will be really responsive to small movements because we've got like a fair amount of extra speed um, relative to the wing. Just a little adjustment, little adjustments. Five hundred. One of the best things you could do is actually fly a, an ILS approach completely fog. Just using the flight director, that's really good for like adjusting how you move the joystick Four. to the plane. We've got a bit of like foggy haze on the runway, Minimum. so you can't quite see the surface so well. I'm just going to follow the ILS, and I'm looking. There's some blocks there. I can't see the pappy lights, but that doesn't matter. It's a good picture. The main thing I'm looking for is that kind of. There we go. It comes into view. Keep it down. Keep it down. Glasgow by UK 2000 Scenery. One hundred. Ready to do the retard of the photos. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. Stick reverses on. Wow, water brakes are going, reverses are green, D cells happening, reverse disengage because we've got to 80 knots. I love that shimmery thing that happens of lights. It happens of literally every single light in this game. That there. It's like the matrix appears out of the corner. Let's whip it off. All the way around. Echo November stand three four Swiss nine seven four. Echo and then November to stand three four. Is that what he said? I hope that's what he said. Otherwise, that's going to look really, really silly in a video. Echo. Go on, let me just quickly check where November is. Chat Fox. EGPF taxi aerodrome chat. Echo, oh it's right away here, it's on the right. He could have told me that. Well, didn't have to, did he? Welcome to the UK where we use a shed for an airline terminal. Also Portland does that to be fair. Right, three two, forty, three four is gonna be the second one in, probably. Oh, third one. Packing brick. Turn off the Christmas tree effect. Let the people stand up so they can bog up the aisle. Let's see if I put the camera on. Is the camera here somewhere? At one hour forty-two Frankfurt to Glasgow. Where's my camera? They want my camera. There's somewhere near the video. There we go. There's the video. That's quite cool.
cool feature. Let's get jetways attached. Jetway, power kit barrage, power kit baggage. Wonderful. Engelberg, Engelberg Titlis. Coole Skigebiet. It's got a glacier. Pretty good. Right, fun that was.